in our dark backyard, there is a regime which is today by far one of the most cruel, brutal tyrannies on earth. Gideon Levy es un premiado periodista y escritor israelí. Nacido en el corazón de Europa, sus abuelos fueron asesinados durante el holocausto y él tuvo que huir de los nazis en una increíble y dura travesía que lo llevó hasta Tel Aviv. Él mismo se considera un israelí patriótico, lo que no le ha impedido criticar durante décadas lo que considera una terrible ceguera moral de la sociedad israelí ante los efectos de sus actos de guerra y ocupación. En esta charla ofrecida en la Universidad de Oxford en 2016, ya deja muy claro que Israel nunca ha buscado una salida pacífica, sino que su objetivo último siempre ha sido masacrar al pueblo palestino. It's not about peace. It's not about symmetria. There is no symmetria. Forget about symmetria. I would even suggest that there is no conflict. Was there a French Algerian conflict? There was a brutal French occupation in Algeria which came to its end. And there is no Israeli-Palestinian conflict. There is a brutal Israeli occupation which must come to its end one way or the other. One way was the two-state solution. It's a fair solution. Israel did anything possible to destroy it in an irreversible way. And now we are left only with the other alternative. There is no third way. And the one state is now 50 years old. In the front of it, there is a democracy for the Jewish citizens of Israel. The second regime is to our Palestinian citizens, but are discriminated systematically. In our dark backyard, there is a regime which is today by far one of the most cruel, brutal tyrannies on earth. Not less than this, and I know what I say, because I cover it for 40 years. And this regime cannot be defined but as an apartheid. Two peoples share one piece of land there. One people has all the rights in the world, the other people has no rights whatsoever. It looks like apartheid, it talks like apartheid, it is apartheid. And nobody can contradict it. Nobody who had been there, nobody who is fair enough to look, see the prosperity in the settlements, and then go and see the Palestinians who live there without electricity, without water, without any rights. And then tell me if it's apartheid or you might invent it another title. This must come to its end. 